Hi everyone, Steve with Steel City Parkour. Today we are going to build a palm horse mushroom to work on some gymnastic skills such as circles. They're a super cool skill and uh, we need something to do them on so I'm going to teach you how to build it. Alright, for today's project it's going to require some power tools. We're going to need a saw of some sort and a drill. So that means uh, you shouldn't work on this unless you've had some shop classes or let your parents handle this one. All right. So I'm going to have some tape measures. I'm going to have some two by fours. I need a sheet of plywood and I need a pie sheet. And of course, I need safety glasses. Now, this pie sheet here I bought from uh, Lowe's and you can also get them at Home Depot. They're about $8 and this is a two foot diameter one. You're also going to need a sheet of plywood that is at least two feet by two feet. Mine's a little bigger, um, but that won't matter uh, as long as it's at least two feet by two feet. Now, I have to find the center of my sheet and I did that by first tracing my circle where it's gonna be and then I measured in from the sides halfway. So this length was 14 inches to the middle because it's a 28 inch total and then from the other side it's uh, two feet so I measured 12 inches in, draw the lines with a straight edge and now I know where my center is. That's where my main post is gonna go and then I'm gonna have extra posts here on each corner of the pie. Now, when it comes to cutting the posts, I'm going to use about an 18 inch post. Um, depending on how tall you are, you might want to go anywhere between 12 inches high and 18 inches. The standard vault uh, mushroom is going to be 18 inches, but feel free to make it smaller if this is for someone who is not quite as tall as me. <clears throat> now that I have my five posts cut, I'm going to screw them in at those places on each side of the circle and of course in the middle. Now, to screw on the post, I find this is the easiest method because this is now gonna be the bottom. Uh, so I started all my screws and then all I'll have to do is place a board underneath like this and then I'll be able to screw right down into it and then I can reinforce with more screws. Uh, with this part, um, I am not pre-drilling uh, just because it's plywood and these two by fours are pretty soft. Um, but when we do get to the pie sheet, I highly recommend pre-drilling any screws that you're putting in there uh, just so you don't split the wood. Now, once I have all of my posts screwed in, I am now going to put the pie sheet on top and screw it down as well. Now, whenever we're screwing this down, once again, I do highly suggest pre-drilling so we don't split any of the wood. Uh, also, make sure that your posts are straight. Sometimes when you're cutting them, it's a little off. Uh, it's very important that these are straight because we don't want this to wobble at all. Now, once you have the posts screwed on, like so, uh, it's ready to go. Um, but we can do some other things to add some finishing touches to it. Uh, I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue. I like to use the clear version of the Gorilla Glue. And I'm gonna glue some foam onto it and try to pretty it up a little bit. And uh, right now it's just a skeleton, but it is usable. You could do circles on this right now. Um, but feel free to pretty it up in your own way and send us pictures of your final results. All right, everyone, now here is my finished product. Uh, I still need to glue on this top piece, uh, and we'll talk about why that's going to be important later. Um, but right here, I just wrapped some foam around the outside. It's not winning any beauty contest, but it'll stop you from bumping your shins into it. You can mess around with different things like fabric, um, just something to clean it up underneath. Now, here is kind of what we're modeling here. This is a normal uh, mushroom, and these ones here will run you $250 or more if you bought them online. This here, I had some scrap wood that I built it with. This cost me less than $20. Uh, so the final step will be to put that foam on because when I'm doing this move, it's very likely that you're going to scrape your legs on this. So I'll go ahead and just do one circle so everyone can see what we're going to do using this device. Like that. All right. All right, everyone. Now, this is going to be my final product. In a future video, we will show you how to use it. Now, as you're building these, if you make any, please send us some pictures or videos. Uh, I want to see how you did, what creative things that you guys might have come up with at home. Remember, when we're building this stuff, make sure you have permission to build. Uh, or parents, if you're doing it, make sure you're wearing some safety glasses. Otherwise, have fun, good luck, and let us know how you do. Thanks.